So hello students, uh, today we see some uh, problems in stoichiometry, okay, so in the mixed compounds problems. You see the 1.67 grams mixture of aluminium and zinc was completely dissolved in an acid. So it is not particular, not given, uh, just it is given they are dissolved in a particular acid and evolved 1.69 liter of H2 combinedly. It is TP. So we have to calculate the weight of aluminium and zinc in the initial mixture. So here aluminium zinc mixture was dissolved in an acid. Uh, we know that there is a uh, main uh, one of the main properties of acids and metals is when metals dissolves in acids they releases H2. There is the best, uh, very common property of uh, acids and metals. When metals dissolve in acids, acids are able to release hydrogen. Okay, our metals are really able to release hydrogen from acids. Okay, so we will find out the weight of aluminum and zinc in the given mixture. So, actually, we will reaction complete and then we equalize the milli equivalence. Reaction in the reaction of aluminium zinc with acid. So, we have milli equivalence of aluminium plus milli equivalence of zinc is equal to milli equivalence of acid. But what is that acid? So, acid is equal to milli equivalence of acid. So, we have to do the product information. So, product information is equal to 1.69 liters. So, we have to do the product. Milli equivalence of mixture actually equal to milli equivalence of other reactant acid. Acid goes to cellular. Can we a product kitchen gaba to we can equalize with the milli equivalence of that product? Means here we can write a main step. So in any problem, writing of this this step is very important. So milli equivalence of uh, aluminium. <coughs> Excuse me. So, milli equivalence of uh, zinc are equal to actually milli equivalence of acid and that is equal to milli equivalence of H2. <coughs> so, here it is not given. Here, one more important. So, direct the milli equivalence of H2 it is not possible. But again, the molarities, volumes, so at least the molarities clue is the problem. Uh, normal defined node is similarly equal and separate system. At least work, uh, uh, one of the compounds should get uh, normal. Thing. So, there is normal. So, we have to follow equivalence. Equivalence of aluminium plus equivalence of zinc is equal to equivalence of H2. This is follow -over. Okay. The molarity model system is normal to milli equivalence test to them. So, equivalence means uh, what are the equivalence? Equivalence means uh, weight by equivalent weight. Equivalence is equal to weight by equivalent weight. So, what is the weight? So, weight is not given. So, just take uh, x gram of uh, so, starting the right step x gram of aluminium y gram of zinc okay so that is equal to aluminium plus zinc 1.67 gram so aluminium weight x and this now weight by what is equivalent weight equivalent weight of an element equal its molecular weight by n factor and aluminium valence and the 3 al plus 3 plus y grams of zinc uh, what is the zinc's molecular weight uh, so atomic weight 65 its valence zinc always uh, forms zn plus 2 so it's n factor next equivalent weight of h2 here important one the problem in the problem it is given 1.69 liter of h2 at stp so 1.69 liter of h2 at stp and a so as you know equivalent weight find out challenge and weight by equivalent weight right equivalence equivalence find out challenge Weight by equivalent value. So, what is the weight? So, weight mark you directly give a liter solution. So, then we now weight low convert. So, it is STP. It is STP. We know that 
22.4 liters of H2 is equal to for any compound 22.4 liters uh, uh, is equal to its molecular weight 22.4 liters of any compound is equal to its molecular weight now 22.4 liters of H2 also its molecular weight 2 grams but here it is given just 1.9 uh, let's see 1.69 liter of uh, H2 is equal to how much weight so we don't do the calculation directly uh, we produce here by 22.4 grams it is hydrogen weight so 1.69 into 2 by so direct down so 1.69 by 11.2 grams it is weight so equivalence and it is weight by gram equivalent weight or equivalent weight and atomic weight by valency so hydrogen atomic weight 1 valency also 1 so you can buy a mostly just buy 1 by 1 also so no need to write so take this step also so don't get confused so you can make it more weight by mali equivalent weight means 1 by 1 or sorry hydrogen atomic weight 1 valency 1 so i can make it aluminum weight by equivalent weight 27 by 3 atomic weight by valency zinc atomic weight by valency same hydrogen atomic weight by valency so here we get So on this multiplication we will get to 22.5 So try to do the total calculation So on the overall calculation here we will get uh, x equal to 1.25 gram so the derivation becomes very long and four grams. Okay. So X in and this is the aluminium. This is the weight of zinc. Okay. So try to do the total calculation in the notebook. Okay, see the next one. So, a mixture of uh, FeO, a mixture of FeO and Fe3O4, when heated in air, constant weight gained 5%. Means on heating, some reaction takes place, some compounds are formed, but total gaining in the weight is 5% in its weight. So calculate the composition of the mixture means we need to find the composition means how much uh, uh, FeO is present, how much Fe3O4 are present. So as you well, there is no fixed weight is given, just information is given in terms of percentage. Uh, FeO percentage how much, Fe3O4 percentage how much, we have to calculate. So first take a, a reaction. So reaction here FeO and Fe2O3 both are heated heated in air so what is the reaction in air means FeO combined with oxygen and forms a, so Fe2O3 so just uh, two ions two ions just for balancing we are doing like this next Fe3O4 Fe3O4 also changed to Fe2O3. We need to remember these reactions. Okay. Three ions, sorry. Two. Three. It's a balance. So take X grams of uh, 
6 grams of FeO and take uh, white gram of uh, Fe3O4. Here we have to find the percentage of X and Y and here we are taking so in terms of percentage x plus y is equal to we are taking as 100 information low so after the reaction it gains 5 percent so 5 percent extra form and so kabati to extra percentage extra compound if it is taken as the 100 extra compound will be taken as 105 the final compound weight can taken as 105 so that's fine we took that is 100 x plus y is equal 100 so now we do the calculation individually okay take a dive fe2 o3 weight efe2 o3 weight so both combined that is a 105 so actually how much is this compound so when x grams actually according to the reaction two moles of feo releases one mole of fe2 o3 so two moles of fe3 o4 gives 3 moles of Fe2O3 so according to the problem again balance the equation so we have separate weight equivalent to x grams on this problem so x grams ki enta form edo find out chedda ikkada x gram ki id enta form ayindi ikkada id y gram ki id enta form ayindi so we have to combine this enta study that is 105 because we are starting we have to combine weight enta this problem 100 this problem so final weight will be 100 this could not be 105 so final okay, equation also the tangent manam x and y find out jail two. Okay, so I take the equation one. Then the one is called. So equation one implies we can write uh, two moles of FeO produce one mole of fe 2 3 so but in terms of grams cavity two moles of fe means uh, to it what is molecular weight fe means iron 56 uh, okay so 56 it is 32 okay so, so oxygen so only one oxygen is there then let's take as a uh, 16 that will get uh, 72 grams so here 2 into 72 grams of FeO produce one mole of one mole and how many grams? FeO 56, 56, so 112, 48. So total become about 160. 160 gram of uh, FeO 3 So, so take it at 2 into 72 grams of uh, FeO produce 160 grams of FeO 3 based on the equation 1. But how much we take, we take as a x grams of FeO. So, what about of x gram? So, x grams of FeO can produce how much Fe2O3? Into 72 grams. Okay, afterwards we do the calculation. So, grams of uh, Fe2O3. Okay, so next uh, with the help of equation 2. So, equation 2 implies how much compound actually 2 into Fe3O4. 2 moles of Fe3O4. In the air on heating, produce a uh, three moles of Fe2O3. So in terms of uh, mass, so change it into mass. So Fe3O4. So what will be its molecular weight? Uh, so I am 56, 56, 56. Oxygen 64. Here 2 moles. So on uh, 
overall calculation we will get 232 so 2 into 232 grams of Fe3O4 produce 3 moles of Fe2O3 this means again uh, uh, here 3 into 160 grams of Fe2O3 then how much we got uh, y grams y grams of Fe2O3 can produce how much Fe2O3 so y into 3 into 160 by 2 into 232 grams of uh, Fe2O3 means uh, so but first we actually add the Fe2O4 so it is uh, 160 x by 2 into 72 grams second reaction how much Fe2O3 is formed so 160 into 3 into y by 2 into 232 Okay, the total mass mass then equals to so we are able to equal it to 105 because the percentage gap is total the starting to 100 and this column so then 105 to equal to h okay so based on this uh, okay right uh, one more step then. Gain in the weight, gain in the weight is a five percent. So how much you took the starting number x plus y is equal to hundred this problem. So finally you got hundred, hundred plus five percent of the that is equal to one not five. So we can write equation this one. So one sixty by two into seventy two. That is one forty four plus this. 160 into 3 so this is a 460 that is equal to 1 or 5 so on this overall calculation so it also comes a big calculation so try to do the calculation of okay. so on overall simplifying here we get uh, x equal to 20.25 gram so y is equal the 100 minus 20.25 means uh, 79.75 so 100 ke character distance of it that is a 20.25 percent 79.79 percent so the it is not the exact gram slow it is not the answer it is given in terms of percentage only okay but easy calculation goes from 100 this could 105 this goes easy calculation goes from 100 this could and 105 is calculated this time we got the x so 100 this could time we got the x like this y like this so sir, finally we can conclude the x the fuo is 20.25 percentage so whatever the heat whatever the weight of the compound so total mixture compound weight and then only that log 20.25 percent of fu on the 79.75 percent is of fe3o4 will be there okay so we do one more problem okay see so it's one more so very important model take a mixture of uh, oxalic acid and formic acid oxalic acid and formic acid is heated with the concentrated H2SO4 so here the gas produced is collected and on treatment with the KOH so already we know the purpose of KOH generally KOH is to absorb the CO2 gas CO2 gas is absorbed and KOH is useful solution so the volume of the gas decreased by 1 by 6 so calculate the molar ratio of the acids in the mixture means we have to find the ratio of uh, these two acids in the given mixture the clue is so what is the problem i will explain again this two acids mixture is treated with the uh, h2so4 so there is some gases are released actually you get a carbon monoxide carbon dioxide gases of the gases mixture the mixture of carbon monoxide carbon dioxide is passed over potassium hydroxide solution so what is the nature of potassium hydroxide solution and 
it absorbs the CO2 present in it. And I make sure that CO2 matter absorbs it. So CO2 absorbs it. So after absorbing that CO2, its volume decreases by one by six. Okay, and the release of the gases volume low one by six percent. It is absorbed. So now calculate the ratio of acids in the mixture. So first we see the reaction. Means which gases are released on the reaction of that acids with concentrated H2SO4. Uh, reaction. The main gases released here is CO and CO2. So in H2O in liquid form, no need to take the H2O in the problem. Okay, CO plus CO2. Uh, then what about formic acid, HCO oils, when it is react with uh, again concentrated H2SO4, it also releases uh, water and CO. We have to know about these reactions, okay. I can one of find out shall spray the molar ratios. Here it is important. So just take uh, x moles of uh, oxalic acid. X moles of oxalic acid is taken. But you can have one mole. This could be one mole, one mole for now. You can have why we are taking the x moles something now. You can have x moles something. It is x moles, but it is a liquid covered. Ah, uh, but you absorb by it only the gas produced and only we have to consider the gases. So it is gas. It is x moles something now. So, okay, just take it as a y, okay. So y moles. So you can take x r y no doubt in it. But in the books it is given like this. Generally some of the students are following the books, okay. So y moles, take it as y mole, y mole. So x moles. Same here also it uh, x moles. Means you get a formula mixture load total formula. Carbon monoxide is how much? X plus Y. What is the amount? So what is the uh, volume of carbon dioxide? That is Y moles. Okay. So on the basis, we will proceed the problem. So here we took how much X moles of this one, Y moles of this one. So therefore, the total moles of CO, total mol moles of carbon monoxide formed by the mixture. So you can have Y moles equal form as the X moles equal to form and that is equal to X plus Y. Now, what is the number of moles of uh, carbon dioxide? Moles of CO2 form is equal to so only first compound of form in carbon dioxide that is only Y moles. So it is now it is the key point. So it is main point is so KOH the total mark X plus two as the total mixture and the mark X plus two Y X plus two Y X plus Y M O carbon monoxide and the Y moles and CO2 only. The total mixture ne when it is passed over potassium hydroxide solution, that potassium hydroxide absorbs the gas. The potassium hydroxide absorbs this gas into the only CO2. So, so total mixture of uh, CO and CO2. is passed into KOH which absorbs only CO2 it is the main key point in this problem so the only CO2 matram absorbs and after CO2 the value and after absorbing that CO2 so its value becomes uh, 1 by 6 And volume is reduced by 1 by 6. So based on this uh, we can do. So what is the exact number of uh, moles? What is the exact number of moles? Now the moles of CO2K in terms of uh, 
Poles of CO2 y is equal to we can write the what is x plus 2 y by 6. So how you got x plus 2 y? I saw the total gas and then the uh, decrease happened in 1 by 6 and then 1 by 6 part n. The original n the any moles in the ground x plus y co only y mole co and the total x plus y by x plus 2 y. The x plus 2 y lo, 1 y the carbon dioxide the totally absorbed by k y. So, but in the absorbed the total gases value lo, 6 parts. Okay. So, there is a y is equal x plus 2 y by 6. Okay. So, on this overall calculation, so we will get uh, on solving these two. Two y, so here we will get six uh, y minus two. Okay, so we can write uh, x plus x plus four y equals zero. Nothing but uh, actually we need to get the, the ratio. Not we don't uh, get the exact value here. We will get only the ratio on the problem. Like. So, so my it um, so finally get x by y is equal to so 4 by 1 okay so 4 so therefore ratio is uh, 1 is to 1 so 4 is to 1 means in the mixture the ratio of moles ratio molar ratio same okay the ratio of a uh, uh, formic acid, so the ratio of uh, oxalic acid and formic acid. The ratio of formic acid, oxalic acid and formic acid molar ratio is uh, 4 is to 1. Okay, so these are the total different type of problems in stoichiometry. Okay.